I'm gonna put them right here. local bottleneck dolphin hanging out right up here. It's a little funky when uh, going up on a ladder and painting this close to your face. It's hard to keep things proportionate, but thankfully this porpoise is proportionate. We are gonna have uh, five or six small parts um, that kind of show the uh, negative effects of plastics in the ocean. Here's a little local loggerhead turtle. Um, I'm gonna have it, uh, his mom with him. He's just a little guy chomping on his favorite dish, a little uh, jellyfish. Um, and then we have a plastic uh, six-pack top, um, which unfortunately, that stuff doesn't biodegrade. That hangs around for years and years and years, and it's not great. Um, I have a little uh, eel hiding in our uh, California kelp bed. And then uh, up top, but I have a humpback whale. Actually, really exciting. We just had some in the cove in La Jolla. Cool. So, so for the sake of complete cheese, we all get by with a little kelp from our friends. I instantly regretted that. Um, so I have uh, Caitlin Alfaro here. She's a local uh, talent, right? That's your last name? Yeah, Alfaro. Yeah? Yeah. You're like right there and here? Yeah, um, let's keep them. I want to have probably like five or six different animals. I'm feeling real good about these spaces. So here and here? Yeah, what do you think? Cool. Does this look like big enough to you? Yeah, no, that's great. Yeah, yeah. This is this is uh, a one eighth replica, I guess, uh, for give or take. Um, if we were to have an actual full size humpback whale, the full length of this thousand foot wall still wouldn't be long enough to capture uh, the whole uh, uh, whale. I built this guy in Adobe Illustrator. Um, it's got kind of the outline of my whale, and I literally put a brick grid so I could loosely count. Okay, the tail needs to start three bricks down, seven bricks back. Um, and this helped me keep the proportions I need, oh, there goes my chalk, uh, for uh, my uh, humpback whale. Today we're out here painting a dorsal fin. Just giving him a real nice, real nice texture right there with the wall. Remember, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents, and uh, yeah, we'll have some uh, happy, happy sharks here. On the uh, west side of the Pacific, have uh, stopped and made illegal um, shark finning, which is uh, terrible. They literally catch any type of shark, lop its fins off, and then throw it back in the ocean, just let it uh, miserably uh, live out a very short existence. Can you paint on the guy? So I would with these, because you know how like their like bigger spots are kind of like wonky and like uh -huh. curved. Throw a little extra in there, a and wonkier. then just yeah, and then just you know. Have um, an interactive piece. Um, so as you walk down the main alley in our uh, California kelp bed um, mural. Um, you come back to Randall Sandals and San Cloud HQ. Um, we're actually going to have a little stool right here, the same color uh, cobalt blue. You can stand. Um, the fellows at San Cloud asked me to make uh, wings for people to take photos with. I wanted to put my own spin on it, so I'm going to make uh, what I'm going to call mermaid wings, which are essentially going to be made out of uh, seaweed, jellyfish, um, bubbles, some local fish. Uh, so. That'll probably be the last thing we do. It's definitely gonna be the most detailed portion of this project. All right guys, thanks again for uh, coming out. Um, hopefully in the next weekend or two, uh, we will have these walls full of fishies and uh, we're excited to show you guys. Uh...